we have our, our sisters and our brothers that are waiting for deliverance. They are waiting. Yes. I, we have seen enough. And, uh, and I know your faith is lifted up. I'm right. So we have seen, we have seen, we have seen. That is it. We ministers of God, we should, we should know at all times that people coming to church, they are not only the believers. Wishes, wizard, demon, this, that. So this is why God is encrypted or fill us with power to minister to them and to deliver those who need to be delivered. So, like uh, what my brother said now, that does not mean the, the church is not a living church. It's a living church. It's all based on we general overseer. We should know that what I don't know, I should not say others do not know it. Yes. It's all based what I cannot do. I should not say other. It's all based what I cannot see in the realm of God. I should not say other cannot. That is all. That is the secret. <laughs> like I'm here now. What I cannot achieve in the name of Jesus, I should not say no one cannot achieve it. Jesus said, all things are possible. That is what he said. And this, the, the, the Bible would, cannot change. The way will remain the same yesterday, today, and forever. If I cannot do all things in Christ's name, does not mean that some, uh, there is no other minister that cannot do all, that thing, all things. But the problem we are facing now in the, in the, in the God's kingdom, in the ministry of God, is that whatever I cannot do, I believe no one can do it. If anyone do what I cannot do, the person is demon. That's what say. All things are possible in Jesus' name, but if all things are not possible for me, in some area I cannot achieve in the name of Jesus, does not mean there is no ministry that cannot achieve it. I should accept that I cannot achieve this. It does not mean that I cannot achieve it. So, that's it. It does not mean that I cannot achieve. So this is why today when we stand before our, our, our congregation, we tell them that, that all of them are born again. They, they cannot be born. It's possible. The people you are minister to, that are born again, that are demon, that are this, that are that. So if you now have the gift of God, it's over to you to go in their midst and deliver these people. They are here to be delivered. Once they enter the church, they are here to be delivered. They, are, they, are, they enter the church to be delivered. God is God that brought them to be delivered. So it is not possible for we to say everybody here is born again. Or when I or you, you stood up, you take it, and I accept that, oh, everybody has accepted Jesus. No, it's a wrong motion. It's a very dangerous way. So that's it. That's it. There is no other name given to Holy Spirit. And there is no other name given to evil spirit. Evil spirit will remain evil spirit. And Holy Spirit will remain Holy Spirit. The problem we are facing now is when you begin to give other name to evil spirit and begin to say spirit of chongo, spirit of oya, spirit of stone, spirit of snake, spirit of day, we are going wrong. So now it's a way of deceiving, it's a way of making us to fight the flesh and blood. Fight this evil spirit. You have no business with your brothers. 
Sometimes we say, ah, so, um, there's a fight. Uh, there's a this attack on this. There's a attack on this. There's a attack on church. There's a attack on monks. There's an attack in a, a place. Oh! Attack. Is it the Holy Spirit that caused the attack or evil spirit? Fight the spirit that caused the attack, not the person physically. If you are fighting the person physically, you cannot win the battle. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. You will not win the battle. Attack in this place, attack in that place, attack in that place. If it is TB Joshua that attacked the place, and you are now beginning to fight TB Joshua, you are, you are fighting you are fighting wrong battle. You are engaged in wrong battle by fighting TB Joshua. Fight the spirit that's doing that. It is stated in the Bible. The evil spirit come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Why the Son of God come to do all? That is all. It is set clear. That's why you cannot put an end to the arm robber or killer forever. Because you are killing the physical appearance. It is not the appearance that is... You can't put an end. When you continue to fight the appearance you see, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your wife, your husband, you are engaged in a wrong battle that will not end. Because when you kill that body, the spirit in that body will come out and enter another body. When you kill the body, and the body is silent, and the body dead immediately, yes, the spirit will come out of the body and go inside another body. But when you deliver that spirit in that body, you put the spirit into perpetual arrest. This is it. So we have a lot. The war is is the ray. I mean, <laughs> what the Bible says, well, it is the end. The end has come because what we are seeing all over. So, people that are here, it's God that brought them. Many of them, they don't even know that they have this demon in them. They don't know. They, they are intention to come and worship. But what they study is that where they are sleeping, they see themselves flying. But they don't know why they fly. When they sleep, they see themselves eating with old people. They don't know why they should eat with people like that. Sometimes they see themselves having an affair with their servant in the home. Somebody who opened the gate for you, you are a boss, and you employ a servant, and the servant opened it for you. You say, Oga, okay, welcome. But in the night, the same boy will sleep with you. By the time you wake up, you say, ah, my servant have an affair with me today. And this is a servant that cannot look at your face. You will not be able to look at your face. By the time you wake up, you look at yourself and say, ah, the servant that wash my clothes, the servant that clean my shoe, is the one that have a fear with me in the night. By the time you wake up, you now want to look at the servant through the window. You say, you say, Oga, wake up. Well, yeah, wake up. Oga, 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 what can I do for you? You now look at yourself, but this is the man that have sleeping with me. All funny things keep happening to you. Bad omen. Imagine at a time you have a promise to have a contract. Suddenly, that way, you find yourself have a nightmare. And any time you have that nightmare, you know the road is closed. You have those signs. And when you look at your family from beginning of your family, it's like a, no one has achieved some certain level, there's a certain stage or level in life that no one have reached. Wow, why should situation look like that? Why, why, should, why should family at that mess? So you keep asking, what is all this? So there are many people, they don't know that they have this ignorantly in the spirit, they are blind. 
But when you open their spiritual eyes, they begin to see that, ha! This is why some people, when they, del they are delivered, they say, you said it. You said, I said, me? Over my dead body. I'm a pastor. What are you saying? What are you telling me? Yes. 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 In every professional, every career, in even in the ministry, there are two people. Like we have professor by career and some professor by honor. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. We have some professor by war. Speak, let me hear you. By war. Professor by career. And why we have professor by war? Oh no. Ah, I've been invited almost, I have almost 10 invitations in the past. They want to give me a, a, a professor. I say, ah, professor, okay. They want to give me a war. Honorary professor. I say, ah. How will I explain myself? When you know my background? Everybody know my background. How can I just become a professor under one week? I honor it. I love it. I respect it. But I'm afraid I will not be able to explain myself. There are professors by career and professor by work. So also, there are ministers of God by divine. And there are ministers of God by... This are uh, this are uh. so now if if I now decided to be a professor, I love it. I love it. But by my nature, I'm not. I'm a pastor, but by my nature, I'm not. But the one pastor that can confront the demon is a pastor, by my nature, I'm a pastor. <laughs> you know what I mean by nature? There are two nature, human nature and divine nature. Human and divine. When you are a pastor by nature, by divine nature of God, divine holiness, me the word of God gets into your blood, gain supremacy over you. And when the word gets into your blood, it grows. When the way has not got into your blood, it cannot grow. When something touches your blood, if they inject you and the thing enters your blood, it goes all around your body. It takes control of your life. Any sickness that enters your blood, it takes control of your life. That is why this cancer of thing, cancer sickness, if a cancer is in a part of body, like breast, if you cut this breast, it will come to another breast. If you cut this breast, it will go to your bum bum. If they cut your bum bum, it's going to another bum bum. If they cut another bum bum, you keep touching your body until you leave the world. Until you are killed by blood. So now, when the wear gets into your blood, it goes around your body. It becomes part of your body. When you raise your hand, it is the word of God that will, that will control that hand. When you want to talk, it is the word of God that will... 
That is, when the word gets into your blood, it, become, it, it will become, become grow. Grow and grow. That is why when it gets into your blood, it begins to grow to gain supremacy. Listen to what I said yesterday. Take note toward the message. I say one way that you need to think about. I say, reading Bible and prayer go together. If one miss, you miss all. If you don't read your Bible and you are praying, where will you get language? Because prayer has language of its own. Prayer, it has language. If you don't use the language of prayer and you are praying, it's like you are talking to your father at home. Whatever the book and band you are saying, whatever name Jesus, people also bear the name Jesus. Huh? People bear the name Jesus. You are calling somebody who is a name Jesus. It's not Jesus in the power of Holy Ghost. So if you don't use the language, prayer has language. And if you don't use that language, definitely you are talking to yourself. You only hear yourself, but not hear you. Now, if you don't read your Bible and get that word in the Bible to your blood, you cannot have a language to use. You, do, you cannot speak Spanish and you want to talk to you cannot speak French and you want to speak French. It is not, if you don't learn French, you cannot speak it. So, Spanish language, you cannot speak it. So, this word must get into your blood. When it gets to your blood, then you can have a word to speak. So, prayer has language. When you don't have that language, where will you get the language when you are praying? So, this is why most of us, the, the, the problem, the challenge we are facing today. If you, if you are not reading your Bible and you are praying, definitely what are you saying? What, what will you say? Which language will you use? When language in the, the language is in the Bible and you don't have that way and you are now praying, whom are you praying to? The Bible says, he speak to us through his word by his spirit. It is when the word gets into our blood, then the spirit can give the word. Are you with me? The, look at what the Bible says. Eh? He speaks to us through his word by his spirit. It, that, that word must act with the spirit to give the language of God. If the word does not act with the spirit, uh, if the spirit does not act with the way, you cannot have God's language. It means God has his own language. It is language that heals, it's language that blesses, it's language that saves, it is language that prospers people. So it's language to when the spirit to you, you hear it. But it cannot act when the way is not act with the spirit. When the way acts Upon the, uh, I mean, the spirit act upon the way. Now you have God's way. Way alone cannot give you God's way until the way acts upon the spirit. Because God is spirit. To get His way, any language can be God's way. Are you a Hebrew man here? For the Igbo language to, to be to become God's language, the Igbo language must ask upon spirit to give you God's language in Igbo. French language. For French, you want to speak French in prayer, or you want to speak French when you want to preach, that French language must act upon the spirit to give you. God's language. All 
all languages must act upon the spirit to give you good words. All languages, you can speak any language. So this is why you can stand and begin to speak your language to pray for people and it work. If that language acts upon the spirit, but God is spirit, it more acts. And how does this language act upon the spirit? It acts upon the spirit in our life when the language gets into our blood. It is when something gets into our blood, the state of blood, it becomes part of us. And when it becomes part of us, it gains supremacy over us. Then you can, it, it, it becomes spirit. So that's why you can't just go to school to study the language. You can't just go to school and study Bible and you want to be a pastor. You can't just go and study and say, I want to be a pastor. Because that way must act upon the spirit. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. The way must act our way. Our word acts upon our spirit to give what? God's language. This is what the Bible means by faith is not a natural issue, but spiritual issue. Faith is of Man's spirit. The Bible, in, when you look at your Bible, is as, as also as good as of man's heart. That is, faith grows in the heart. Faith is of man's spirit. Not of man's mind, not of man, man's flesh. Mm, no. <laughs> so once again, we have seen many who say, I'm from. Uh, I'm a member of synagogue or I'm a pastor in the synagogue church of our nation and be deliver. Yes. 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 One can be even a worker and be delivered. Why? The church is a church where God says, come everyone. There's, the gate is open for everyone. So it's for the minister in charge to be able to have a discernment spirit, to be able to know who is this, who is that, what will I do to this, how will I do to this, how will I do to that. If there's no discernment spirit, wow, problem. They will take over your church one day. Yes, the gate is open. If gate is open, then everybody can come. Those who are ready to be saved, those who are not ready to be saved, they will come. And when you are watching, they will watch it with you. So far, not tamper with them. They will watch it and go. And they will continue to watch it with you and watch it with you forever. So far, you are going beyond your boundary. Beyond boundary means if you pray the way, you, you worship, you dance, it's okay with them. Appreciate the way, worship the way, dance, give thanksgiving, it's okay with them. But when you now begin to lay hand or pray in the power of Holy Ghost, you, <laughs> there, there is a battle between you and these people. They, 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 then, is it that they stay in your church or they go? Is it that they stay in your ministry or they leave the church? If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. That's it. There's no problem. There's no problem. Everybody will become member and worship and enjoy themselves in the church. So far, it's all about 
preaching, teaching, thanksgiving, and dance, and uh, utter call without the Holy Ghost, everybody will come out to and say, I'm accept Jesus, whereas Jesus is not in their life. No problem? No problem. But when it now become laying hand or praying in the power of the Holy Ghost, where the every people will be separated, the right will be separate, the wrong will be separate, and the whole oh, this is where you have this encounter. They then, if they are ready to stay with you, they will be ready to be delivered. If they are not ready to be stay, to stay, they leave. The beginner is not the owner but the finisher. I have seen right from the beginning of the ministry, even ever before God called me, the way great, great minister end the ministry, many of them I don't I, I don't like it. And I never pray to end my ministry like that. Yes. Before my calling and when God called me, the way great ministry minister. The minister all over the world, all over and all over. The way, I'm not talking of the biblical one. I'm talking of our generation. The way they end up their ministry, the ministry end, the way they end the journey, and the way it all. No, 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 no. The beginner is not the owner, but the finisher. So when everything is smooth and smooth and smooth, we should not forget that how do we end this journey? Because if you don't want end it well, our name will just disappear like, like a flame. You know, like, like smoke. Just like that. The name will disappear like a smoke. And if the name of Apostle disappear like a smoke, today we will not have anything to talk about. Their name will not disappear like a smoke, like a smoke, a flame. That's why we are talking of Apostle now. They, they pay supreme price. Yes, their name will not disappear like a smoke. That's why we are resting up now. We can stand to tell you. Yes. So this is why, like I have said it all once again, the TB Joshua, for TB Joshua to continue this ray, ray, to run the race where he must agree with agree that whatever he cannot see in the law should not believe that other cannot see it. A TB Joshua must end this journey where whatever he cannot do in the name of Jesus, he should not believe that other cannot do it. That, that could be other that can do it. The moment TB Joshua believes that what he cannot do, what he cannot see, other cannot do it, that <laughs> the journey is questionable. Yes. If I'm standing here today and I hear somebody also, God is, is using him mightily, mightily, and I say, oh, if I moment my heart say, no, this is not of God, because I cannot do it. Wow. Let us see how I will end my journey. This is not of God, because I cannot see it on the board. If God does not show me this, does not mean he cannot show that. Yes. If I cannot speak in tongue in different languages here, does not mean other cannot speak. If I now see people speaking in other languages, speaking in tongue, because I cannot speak in my church here, and I begin to criticize and condemn them, definitely you should pray for me because my journey is questionable. Because why should I why should I want to boss God? You know, why should I want to boss God? Why should I want to put God in a in a combat and boss him? And say, Lord, God, this is what you gave me to what you should give to the world. Don't give anything to any other. It's only me. Why should I boss him? I'm a servant. Why should I want God to tell me that he wants to do a new thing somewhere 
before doing it why should i query why should i question god that because he cannot i cannot do this no any other person that is doing it is from satan that is that is that is i mean no a servant what honor what respect are you given to god when god never informing you before calling me i think that is the problem i'm facing in your hand and the whole world today that god they are expecting god to say hello there's a brother called tb joshua he is he, he's, he's not he only has school certificate i want to call him to the ministry are you ready to accept him <laughs> This is exactly what you are expecting God to do. That God will have informed you that, look, hello, uh, I will call one brother, very small body like this. He look like your driver anyway. His name is TV Joshua. And at the same time, it's not, uh, the education is just uh, hmm, one of these education, the street, or you know that. It's a rusty guy, you know. I want to call him. So, will you accept him? Will, will, will I call him or I should not call him? So, you will not say, God, Hold on, hold on, let us think about it. <laughs> let, let's, let's think about it. If it's all right, we'll let you know. Okay, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for your question. Will I call him or I should not call him? Will you accept him or not? This is a zale. No, why should? I can... Eh, I, I can... A, a knife now query the the owner knife how can a catapult now query is owner that the catapult will say why can't you throw me this die this direction why this direction actually this is it The ministry of God, the picture of ministry of God is a ministry that come together, unify one. Together, we should be able to relate. The gift of healing in my life, I should be able to offer it to you, and the gift of whatever gift you have, you should be able to offer it to me. There will be no escape route for devil witches and wizards yeah. we should be able to offer what i have i will offer you what you have we offer you that is how to build the ministry if not they will, they will be on on our on our stage if not these people will preach on our people to one day if not these people will be either in our church i repeat again the ministry of god is a unified one is one name is just a symbolic synagogue church is just a symbolic on the last day god will not ask you are you from synagogue no. 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 he will not ask you Say, we will not call you and say, are you from synagogue? No, 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 there's nothing like that. It's just his body. It is just the righteousness, the glory. That's all. So if ministry is one, and that name we call synagogue, synagogue, church of all nature, whatever name you call your own, is, uh, is brushed aside. And we know that name is just a symbolic. And we know the head of the house is one, is just one head he has. He has one head and different parts. And we know this. Yes. We come together. What God gave me, I offer you to you. What God gave you, I off, you offer you to me. And when I offer my own, you offer your own. If not, these people will preach on our people to one day. If not, these people will be a, a, a choir minister, a choir master in our church. Because they will penetrate. Because I cannot say I'm immortal, that I'm all and all. I have all the gift of God in me to, 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 to protect the member. This is why you can see member when they have some little headache. You see them, they have been operated. 
Little time. Abi. Little time. So this is it. So since all gift is not there, all gift, the one I have, give me offer it. The one you have, you offer it. This is how we build a house. If you want to build a house, it is not one professional person you call. You call bricklayer. You call carpenter. You call iron bender. You call engineer. You call I mean worker. Different professional body, you call them together, architect, structural engineer, civil engineer. Some will come to test the soil to see whether that soil is okay. And the, the locations where architect will do the job. So you put these people together to get a house built, so also the house of God. When we have this a church, we have architect in the Lord. Those who have the gift of architecture in the ministry, they will come in. When they look at you, they can extra you. That is their gift in the ministry. Those who have the gift of carpentry, they will come to do their job. Those who have the gift of uh, structural engineer, they will come. Civil engineer, they will come. The, the engineer, they will come. All will come together to build the house. This is house. After praying for you today, you are here already. You will now begin to say, I want them to prophesy to my life. I want them to prophesy to my life. That is another gift. After prophesying to your life, you say, ah, I, will, I want them to, to still touch me. I want to shake. I want to shake. I want to shake. I want to shake. I want to roll on the floor. Ah. After roll on the floor, I want something in me to talk. I want that thing to talk. Me too, I want to talk my own. I want to talk my own. Some people just kill because they, they too want to experience that talk. By the time the wise men touch them, they say, whoa, not to talk. <laughs> we have some people, some people, it's their nature. If I'm one of them, if I'm just, uh, I'm, I, if I were you, and you are pastor to be Joshua, I'll do the same thing. When I sit down, I see people talking. Some will say, I, I'm a pastor, but I don't want him to do pastor. Ah, who is talking? Who is pastor? Who is talking? That kind of experience, me too. Ah. Eh, well, if I'm a brother, I want to come there. But then you come there, they touch you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> the white man will say, Go. Who are you? <laughs> 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 and it is not something you can play. You can't manage it. It is not possible for you. It's not possible for you to just begin to talk. What the evil spirit is not talking say. What the evil spirit is not saying in your hand, you, in your heart, you cannot say. It. Because the hand they used to is an estuary. It's estranging you. They touch you and you are not tall, does not mean you see yourself as upright. Because one, I told you affliction and possessed. A possessor and affliction. Look, this is this this is demon. You can be afflicted with a sickness. When they touch you, that affliction is what you have. Because we judge people by affliction. To when you see somebody who is very poor, they say it's a, it's a wish. No, it's not like that. If somebody who is very who is poor is a wish, why is somebody who is rich is a wizard too? <laughs> Ask yourself. If somebody who is a poor man is a wish, so why a rich man is a wish a wizard too? Somebody who is sick is a wish. 
Where is somebody who is not sick is a witch too. So we should not judge them by affliction. Don't judge people by affliction. Because a man can be sick and yet a friend of God. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor again. A man can be sick in body and yet a friend of God. A man can be poor and yet a friend of God. So we should not judge people by affliction. They say she's buried. She has married for many years. She never gave birth to a baby. It should come to synagogue to confess. Ah, because she's buried now. <laughs> it's a wish. So no, no, no. 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 So take note of that. Don't judge a person by affliction. Our situation should not dictate our direction or rule our life. Don't allow your situation to mislead you. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor once again. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Uh, our situation should not mislead us. Don't allow your situation to mislead you. It can mislead us if, you, if the word is not getting to your blood. If the word of God is not getting supremacy over you, your situation will mislead you. Oh, when you are sick, you begin to say, uh, you, maybe you are a wish or a wizard. You begin to look at yourself as if your prayer is not answered. That is why you are sick. You have been praying, you have been a member. You begin to listen to what people are saying about you. About you. Say, I, I've been going to church for a long time. Why is sickness? Instead of going to church the more because of sickness, you begin to leave the church. You go astray. These are the situations that mislead people today. your situation cannot mislead you, Satan has no way. Tell your neighbor, if your situation cannot mislead you, Satan has no way. Satan wants to tell you that, uh, look, oh, look, oh, you say you are a child of God, why are you sick? What's your sickness? Is that the reward of your righteousness? You, are, you say you are a child of God, why are you poor? Is that the reward of your righteousness? Satan wants to tell you this. And Satan talks through sickness, situation. He used situation to talk to us. It's, it's medium Satan used to talk. When there is situation in your body, he will begin to use that situation to talk, to talk, to talk. That is a medium, medium Satan used to talk to us. Will tell you that uh, you will soon die. Why can't you do this? Uh, this thing will kill you now. What are you waiting for? Remember this person that have this sickness. It's late today. Remember these people that have this sickness. I mean, so it will now push you to people that uh, unbeliever that have the same sickness to cancel you, to carry you everywhere spiritually, to do all sort of thing with your life. You begin to run, Elta Skeeter. Here, different thing, different thing. You are going. Satan is the hand is at war. He talk to what? True what? Through our situation, and our situation is a medium Satan used to what? It's radio, it's television, it's newspaper. It's these are the medium he used. And once that situation cannot control you, Satan has no way. 
they has no way. So I want to appeal to our sister and brother. So please listen to me. You remember we have been coming for the past months now, and you know the way we have been attending to you. Since from, from beginning of this exercise, for the past six months now, God have not God have been using us to attend to you. We have not been disappointed you. So in the same way, after the service, we cancel you. The wise men, I need to meet them and they cancel them, talk to them, how we can go about it through this week, or if there's any day we are going to arrange, or the same Thursday, or when, I will talk to them. Okay? After the service, you have to wait behind. So, and uh, while this meeting is going on now, the, the mass prayer is going on, God may, God may quickly touch you. God may quickly touch you. It's only the fight is that uh, your people at home, like our husband and our brother, our, our wife, they are at home now watching. They are waiting for you to face wise men. <laughs> By now, some of them will be calling and say, Ah, Madam, my wife, you have not good. I have not seen you. I have not seen you. I have not seen you. Are you sure you are in the synagogue? So this mass prayer, they don't, it doesn't mean anything to them. That you fall down, they say, No, you must face the wise men. I have not seen you. So, so we say, don't come home until you, I see your camera. <laughs> they say, they should not come home until I see you on the camera. So I know, I know your, your plan. I know your situation. I know. I know. I know. During this week, since Friday, this last Friday to today, we have received thousands of emails. A, a man and woman that couple that want to get married. Now, they are seeing here with Tango as a solution where before getting married to this woman or this woman get married to this man, they want to come for deliverance. Almost thousand emails we have received. Some, they want to get married. They will send email, they, want, they are coming for deliverance. Before I introduce you to my parent, or you, I, you introduce me to your parent, let's go. The one inside you should talk, and the one inside me should talk. <laughs> this is what they are saying that. and that is the that is the that is the normal way that should be the normal way eh? yes. fundamental issue of life and not just be solved by scientists alone. Mm. Fundamental issue of life. Because coin has two sides. Science, they belong to one side. And why things of spiritual issue go penetrate to the other side to see. It's just when you look at something like this, a coin. You can see one side of coin, the other side you cannot see it. There are sickness and there are curse. And when sickness becomes a curse, it beyond scientists.